Selena. I'm the drummer of the Orange Rev. My name's Edgar. I play guitar in the Orange Rev. I'm Alex. I play the bass for the Orange Rev. is a Thai drum kit. Two different dr Thai drum kits put together. This one's brown. This matches this floor tom. This is a 24 inch. And then this is my beautiful baby. Six and a half. Super drum 12 snare. Um, I met this guy, Super Drum 12 Dave Bedrosian at the NAMM show. And I was trying to look for a sponsor and, or an endorser. And this guy believed in my band and believed in me and he gave me a free snare. This is a six and a half. And he gave me a five and a half as well, but that one was stolen. This one, his signature is just 12 lugs around the snare. Usually you'll find like eight to 10 lugs. And um, this guy was really nice. Uh, when my drums were taken away from me, my original drum set, since like seventh grade, he gave me this kit to go along with it. Crash is a really, really nice Istanbul symbol. Sounds beautiful and very shimmery. It's a thin crash. And my ride. This is a Bosphorus ride. It's very thin. Very clean. It sounds loud and punchy. This makes all the difference in the world. I've never seen this for a bottom high up. Um, what inspired me was in 7th or 8th grade, my Uncle Ken gave me his old marching band snare. It's like a 25 year old snare and I didn't know what to do with it. So I took drum lessons and I didn't want to join softball in 8th grade. So it was a good cop out and took lessons and it was really, really fun. And it was like the only thing I caught on to, like I took Sokoriko dancing, I tried Hawaiian dancing. I tried guitar, I was horrible at everything else, but drums kind of just stuck with that. Right now I'm into a lot of drum and bass drummers. Jojo Meyer is like my number one inspiration right now. I met these wonderful people through this, uh, this community of music that we have here in LA. Just, uh, playing different shows and checking them out and uh, we eventually became friends and they invited me to play with in their band. Tricked them actually. Yeah. We kind of tricked them into playing. <laughs> hey, you want to come over and jam? <laughs> um, I met Elena at a show called uh, Arcade, hosted by, hosted by a bunch of artists. Uh, it was a year ago yesterday, I think. And uh, it took me about a couple of weeks to have constant texting and emailing finally get her to say yes to a jam session, which is also the same day we, we played our first show, which is also the first time we got paid, which was awesome. That's great. Alex came into the picture after our other old bassist Elvis Galvez, who's now our second guitarist, and 
he's not here right now, but he's an amazing guitarist and bassist if he wants to be. You should really check out his other band, Afterglow. And uh, we just actually finished a recording in July that we're trying to get together, trying to get the packaging. We found some jewel cases in the trash can here in the building. Those are the boxes right there. Oh, yeah. if you're not looking up. <laughs> 400 CDs, jewel cases. 400 jewel cases <laughs> that, Already we, packaged, so we, took that we emptied out. Uh, we're going to use them for our, you know, our own thing. We're just waiting on the uh, artwork, which is being done by our gra <laughs> in band graphic designer. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we can look forward to that soon. We're also working on a music video myself that I'm working on. 